Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all doing great. So it's gonna be a bit of a different video. We're gonna be taking a look at my top 10 picks really for sealed products that came out in 2021 that will be good to invest in going into 2022 or just invest in this year. Now I have collected some of these products myself. Some of them I've been unfortunate and not being able to get hold of some. But basically these are gonna be the 10 sealed products which I feel like have been great this year, have come out only in 2021. We are coming to the end of 2021, so we're going to reflect on some of the really great products to pick up if you can at a reasonably good price. Let's take a look. Okay, in at number 10 is one of my personal favorites, and I do love this set so much, and that is Shining Fates, and that is the Shining Fates ETB itself. Now, I really enjoy this product. I have collected a few ETBs myself, keep them sealed. I don't know, just something about Shining Fates really does appeal to me. I really enjoy it. It is a great set. Shiny Charizard V Max is one of my favorite cards. It is just an amazing card. And this is just a great set to open. Good pull rates. You do get a ton of little baby shinies as well as full art shinies as well. It just is such good fun to open. And Shining Fates is quite plentiful to pick up right now, even though it did come out at the beginning of the year. The Shine of Fates for me is one of my little one of my little personal favorites, but I'll put it in at number 10. Number nine, we have the Zacian and the Zamazenta ETB. Now I quite like this. I picked up the Zamazenta one and it is really good. It is a really nice product. You do get a ton of booster packs in the box as well as the awesome looking promos, either Zacian or Zamazenta, whichever one is your favorite. I really enjoy it. I think it's a really cool this product is very unique. I don't feel like we're gonna see it get a reprint down the line. So I've opened one myself for a profit and loss to see if it was actually worth the money. Now I didn't actually open that great in those packs. You know, you do get 12 packs in there. It didn't seem to pull anything half decent. So would I keep it sealed? Yeah, uh, I definitely would. Uh, I picked up a Zamazenta one. I am looking at picking up a Zacian one. If I can get hold of a Zacian one, I will keep it sealed, but it is a really awesome looking product. All right, next we have the Lance's Charizard and the Dark Sylveon Celebrations collection boxes. Now I do really like these. They are both got awesome looking promos and it's Celebrations. Now I do feel like Celebrations is one of these sets that will go down in history as one of the greatest sets to be released. It's a really unique special set and these are really unique special products. And people just love Charizard and, you know, Dark Sylveon is a really nice card as well. But yeah, I like these. I've got one of each that I've collected. They are staying sealed as I feel like these are really nice collection pieces to reflect on and to look at down the line. Are they a good investment? Yeah, these could be really good investments moving forward. If you could pick them up at a reasonably good price, then I would do so. Okay, number seven, we have Celebrations again, and that is the Celebrations ETB. Now, I have done a profit and loss on an ETB already, and it is a great product to pick up. Not only do you get 10 packs of Celebrations, we also get five Sword and Shield boosters. So it could be, I think it's like Darts of Blaze, Vivid Voltage, Chillin' Rain, Battle Stars, which are all great sets. And on top of that, you do get the awesome Greninja promo. All of it is really nice. I do love the set. It is good value as well. You do get 15 packs essentially for a reasonably good price now i've picked up a couple of etbs and i've kept them sealed and i've already opened two and i do love this product it is a really cool set to buy they seem to get restocked quite regularly at the moment especially right here in the uk we can pick some up from local game stores as well so guys i would definitely go and pick up some celebrations i love it it is an amazing set and yeah that is number seven okay coming in at number six is one of my personal favorite sets of all time and I always highly rate it in my investment videos. And as Hidden Fates tins, these are incredibly great products. Here in the UK, we're looking at around £40, roughly, give or take Charizard's a little bit more for one of these tins. Now, I do know in the US is a little bit more expensive, but I do really rate these tins. Now, apparently, they do have a better pull rate than a normal ETB. Hidden Fates is an amazing set, probably one of the best one sets to ever be released. I really rate it, some amazing cards in there, in the hope to also pull that awesome looking Charizard, but it is a really great set to pick up if you can. 
So yeah, the tins are really great. You've got three different ones. You've got the Gyarados, the Raichu, and the Charizard one. The promos in them look really cool. I have bought a ton of tins and I've kept them sealed for the sole reason of they are just awesome and I believe they are a great investment in the long run. Now, I will also be doing a box break or more like a tin break down the line for Hidden Fates next year. So make sure you stay tuned for that if you want to crack packs of Hidden Fates. I've been collecting these tins up over the months for specifically that. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But yeah, Hidden Fates tins and number six. Okay, coming into the top five. At number five, we have Hidden Fates again, but it's the ETB this time. Now, I absolutely love the ETB. You do get 10 packs in there and you get the gorgeous looking promo of the stained glass with the legendary birds. I absolutely love that promo card. And it is really good value ETB. Now, I do know that over in, in the US for you guys, it is incredibly expensive. You know, we're looking at that $160 plus for an ETB, which is really expensive. However, here in the UK, where you can pick it up for around 85 to 90 pound. If you do convert that into dollars, you're probably looking at around 100 to 110 dollars which is actually pretty good and that does include tax as well so we do get it quite cheaper here over in the uk but it is a great set nonetheless and i love the product i actually own five hidden fates etbs sealed that i am keeping for a rainy day really you know i think these are great investments i've said it before i do believe that down the line we could be looking at the hidden fates etbs reaching that price level of the shining legends etbs because it's just such an iconic set and it really is that great guys like it's just it's just amazing i personally love it and that is why it's in at number five okay number four is what i believe the best sword and shield set to be released and that's evolving skies i love evolving skies it is one of it is you know honestly it is my favorite sword and shield set to be released it is absolutely amazing all the ev you know evolutions the red quasar just the cards are incredible the value of the single car prices are incredibly high it is just overall a great set the pull rates seem to be okay but the set just seems to be so massive and they keep releasing these gigantic sets it makes it even harder to collect a master set or get all the cards but yeah i love it i actually own quite a few booster boxes and keeping them sealed because i think it is the best product to be released in 2021 i genuinely believe that i think this year Bottom Skies has shown that it is incredibly strong and will continue to be incredibly strong as the years go on and I just think it's great. Now, will it be topped as the best Sword and Shield era set? Maybe. Brilliant Stars is genuinely looking to be that great, but we'll have to see when it does get released. But yeah, I do feel like Evolving Skies is one of the best sets of the Sword and Shield era and I absolutely love it and that is why it's in at number four. Okay, number three. So number three, I kind of be a little bit cheeky and cheated on this one but number three it didn't get released this year but i do believe it is one of the best sets right now that i've picked up and that is xy evolutions i know it's been out for a while but it is a goodie now i did pick up my booster box a few months back now maybe i don't know six months or so ago and that did cost me around that six six forty six fifty mark and it has dropped since then i mean right here in the uk we you can pick them up for around 530 550 they have dropped do i regret buying it at that price absolutely not now xy evolutions was incredibly expensive back last year it was expensive at the beginning of this year and it has started to decline does that mean the interest in the set is going away no is it one of the best sets to be ever be released yeah and the thing is it's, it's going to go up again over time anyway so i do highly rate it and it just looks nice it's a really nice looking kind of like a collection piece to have it's in a nice little booster box protective case it just looks really nice and i'm really happy to own one will i pick another one up it means it's so cheap right now yeah I'm, I'm looking at picking up at least one more if i can in the new year if they're still going reasonably cheap i do believe it's going to be one of these sets which will bounce back and will go up over time i love xy evolutions just the nostalgia and the awesome looking cards you get in there plus the ability to open a charizard is just going to be absolutely amazing but yeah xy evolutions is my number three pick okay missing out on the top spot at number two we have the marnie milk carton i mean the marnie premium tournament collection box and it is really cool it is a very unique product it was very hard to get and still is quite hard to get to be fair at retail it sold incredibly quick when it got released i was very lucky to go and pick up a restock at a local gaming store but it is a incredibly great product it's very unique the promo looks really nice you do get like seven packs in the box it's just nice it's just a nice collection piece to have 
Now I have opened one as a profit and loss, which actually I, I believe it actually made me profit. So it was a really good product to open, but I do own another one that I do keep sealed. I like it. So guys, if you manage to pick one up, even at some of the prices going at or even close to retail, I really would suggest doing it, but it is personally one of my favorite products to collect right now coming to the end of 2021. Okay, before we get into number one, if you've made it this far, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. Okay, number one it is a premium collection box, and that is the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection Box. Clues in the name, it's Ultra. It, this thing is incredible, the, the stuff you get in there, but it also is incredibly expensive. Now, I would say if you can pick up a retail, but I would find that pretty much impossible because in the here in the UK, it was around £150 retail. And it's like at least double that now if you really want to pick it up. Is it still worth it? Yeah, you do get a ton of boosters in there, but you get four amazing looking promos. And the fact is you get two metal cards, which I find really impressive, really interesting to get the metal Pikachu and the metal Charizard. It is an incredibly unique product that I really find hard to believe that they would bring out another wave of these just because they are so unique and premium and ultra. <laughs> so it is an incredibly great product. Keep it sealed. If I managed to get one, I would keep it sealed just because it is just such an awesome product to have just there. Anyway, guys, that is my top 10 picks for sealed products. My personal top 10 of what I've picked up and what I think is a good investment for overall for the end of the year. Now, 2022 is going to be a really interesting one as we look at the Pokemon market down the line. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. You guys are legends and I'll see you in the next one.